A, a smaller version of the scruffy city is showing off its holiday decorations and inviting children to come and play. Anchor Katie Inman is at Safety City to explain how your family can get in on the fun sized festivities. At Safety City, it is so fun to look at all of the small replicas of things. We're in front of a tiny Neyland Stadium right now. You just thought the ball season was over. No, this is where all the action's happening. The holiday hour started for Safety City today at 4 o'clock. Austin Smith with Safety City is here with me. Hey, what do people need to know about these holiday hours? Uh, I know that you guys are going to be open for the next few weeks, but if people want to come by, what do they need to do? Um, they can bring uh, any scooter, bicycle, uh, power wheels are also allowed. Um, just to make sure that if they have a scooter or a bicycle, just to bring a helmet and just come on ready to have some fun. Yeah, that's a big key there. Come ready to have fun. And uh, what's cool too is that Safety City is all decorated for Christmas. So y'all are open four to eight to these next three weeks, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, it's all free. Yeah, everything's free uh, through the police department. So there'll be some police officers here in the evenings as well. Come say hey to them, come talk to them, ask them what it's all about. And why is it cool for families to be able to come and take advantage of, of this? Uh, just because it's a uh, free, uh, safe, fun place, but it's also a controlled environment. There's not going to be cars, real cars driving down the street, you know. So it's just a nice place for kids to learn and just see what the road's about. All right, thank you so much, Austin. I'll go ahead and send things back to the studio, and I'm going to see if one of these kids will let me borrow one of their scooters or bikes and maybe a helmet so that I can practice my safety skills. All right, back to you.